Hello there, vinyl community, and hello there, Fred, aka Big Star 1000. This is a response to your thread. Uh, congratulations to your four years in the vinyl community. Four years. Uh, I have at least soon three years before I reach that point. Uh, and uh, it's a very long time, and uh, I have a a lot of movies to do until then and uh, this will be one of them uh, you had a little thread where you wanted us to to show uh, faces on album covers uh, and uh, it's, I thought it was a very interesting subject so here we go I have collected uh, 25 records with faces so uh, I'm gonna take them Kind of fast. I'm not going to have any music in the background like uh, several have, have been having uh, because uh, I've been realizing that that slows down the camera and uh, makes it go slower. So, so uh, uh, hopefully it will be all right anyway. Uh, so uh, uh, you mentioned also in your video, Fred, a little about uh, Stoney and Reggie's uh, typographical album art movie and. Uh, in that video, I um, was a little disappointed that I didn't find any great uh, typographical art with the jazz uh, from jazz albums. So I'm going to <laughs> t take that. Uh, going to start by showing jazz albums now, so so uh, to repair that a little bit. So starting off, let's go on a little fast here, so it won't be a three-hour video. Of course, Stan Getz, here with uh, Carl Cheddar, and we have uh, Jimmy Lansford, some 30th big band released here on Philips. We have uh, Telunius Monk. Shown this one before, but it fits well. Of course, Oscar Peterson, the man, the myth, the legend. Ben Webster. And, of course, Jimmy Smith. This is a live album, as you can see. Make sure that this album doesn't fall to the floor. More Jimmy Smith. This is one of my favorites. They really managed to do a great uh, album cover with his face there. Uh, some other kind of jazz, uh, Eddie Conlon, now coming into the more uh, pop music style, Jane Weedlin, the forgotten member of the Go-Go's and uh, she had a little career of her own, but uh, it didn't uh, go all that good as Belinda Carlisle. And uh, I think she's actually a, a good, sadly forgotten, because she, her, her this album is really, really good for her, from 1989, I think, 88. This actually is a good album, sadly forgotten. Midjour of Ultravox. And a great album, The Gift. Here is a little, <laughs> a little forgotten thing. Stacy Q. We connect and Two of Hearts. Both of them are on this album. And here, the prettiest face of them all. Susanna Hoffs of the Singer of the Bangles, one of the most gorgeous women alive. 
this is her solo album, uh, When You're a Boy. And for those of you who follow my blog, you know that I have... Uh, saying that this is perhaps... It is the best album ever made. This is a pure uh, masterpiece in pop music. More pretty faces. Sandra. It's also a great cover of the Manage to Do the Ocean and the th going through her head. Into a Secret Land is the album. Uh, more ladies. Madonna. Tears for Fears. Peter Cetera. Of course, got to have some thing with Chicago connection. Here's a little special. This is New Order, Low Life. This is a little special because I think this is the only record actually where members of the the New Order show their faces on the cover of the, their albums. Usually, New Order has this stale and uh, one colored album covers uh, that doesn't say a thing actually so, so uh, they did a little special here on this 1985 album over to France Jean-Michel Jarre a French instrumentalist and synthesizer uh, guy with the album Zuluk from 1984. Steven Van Zandt, more known as Little Steven. Hold the notes, Daryl Hold John Oates from 1988. Maybe not the best Hold the Notes album, but still it's Hold the Notes. Japan, synth synth pop music, gentleman gentleman takes Polaroids. Al Jiro, uh, this is a little special. See this? This is a Greek, uh, a, a Greek version, a Greek Greek release. Uh, Marie Osmond, coming into some finally some seventies music. The record I showed before when I bought it in a vinyl update. Anne Murray and finally the masters, or should I say the fathers of the synth pop music, Kraftwerk and Trans Europe Express from 1977 so with that Fred I hope that you are satisfied uh, and that you have seen some interesting music and the rest of you also not to, of course uh, and um, soon enough I think when it comes to close to the weekend, I'm going to do a little vinyl update. Uh, but uh, for now, and until then, I hope that you have a really great time. See you, folks. <laughs>